Hello everyone, Bashar here. So <clears throat> I have been a little bit silent. So we have some stuff that's upcoming. So first things first, uh, tomorrow on the 25th of June, uh, there will be a one plus one on ancient shards, you know, which means, you know, uh, if you summon a legendary from ancient shards, uh, then you will be getting another legendary. So I think it's gonna last a single day, and also you might have noticed that uh, uh, Epic only Ice Golem tournament is starting tomorrow. Well, during that Ice Golem tournament, there will be a triple chance of Reflex artifacts. On the 29th, there will be a Spider tournament. I'm not very sure if that is the Epic only Spider tournament they have been talking about, but I'm guessing it is. During that one, we will have a triple Ogrin. And finally, on the 1st of July, yeah, the date looks like it, yeah. And on the 1st of July, there will be a triple uh, regen uh, for a Fire Knight tournament. I'm guessing those will be the remaining epic on the tournament. So anyway, uh, the big news is on your screens, as you can see. So Polarium has released a video uh, teasing Clan Wars, so now we have a little more detail. If you have watched that video, there is a stronghold there, there are some defense towers, there are some magic towers, uh, you know, mana pits, or something like it. Right? So we are now given a little bit of extra information about the uh, stronghold. As you can guess, stronghold is the main building. Uh, at first we will have only one layer right so the clan will have a fortress and there will be a stronghold so I'm guessing that you know the as the opposing clan you will try to you know capture the enemy's uh, stronghold while you are trying to defend yourself I'm guessing that we are gonna put up PvP teams in there I'm not very sure of course uh, details will be unveiled soon I'm sure so the feature itself is going to arrive on the 10th of July so we are a little about two weeks away from it and I am guessing that you know Polarium with we will supply us with more information and you know teasing so at first there will be a single layer with a single stronghold that's what they say and there will be additional layers released and when there are additional layers they will all have different strongholds I think and if you were you know part of the uh, Call of Dragons Rise of Kingdoms campaign in you know in the channel or you know in another content previous channel or you play those games by yourself you know there is a uh, you know main building and the main building's level sets the bar sets the standard for all the other buildings i had i think they have you know brought that idea in uh, so the stronghold can be upgraded uh, up to level three from level one so it can be upgraded only twice right it's not starting from level zero but level one that's what it says and through the clan's joint efforts we will see what that means you know if it means activity uh, you know maybe it will be a little like cvc you know whatever do whatever you do that you know will count you know tag team arena wins arena wins you know dungeons uh, but i don't think that will be the case but because then it will be uh, you know a little too similar to cvc maybe they will come up with something creative but you know so the clan uh, with a joint effort will amass some resources which we have some additional teasers for and using those resources we upgrade the buildings so uh, uh, so the third th item in question is just what I said uh, you cannot have your other buildings exceed the level of the stronghold right so the stronger is the level one and I suppose you establish the other buildings as level one but you cannot get them to level two without upgrading your stronghold first and I'm guessing you know as is you know uh, the tradition of this kind of game and rather obviously the stronghold will be the most expensive one to uh, upgrade 
So after the stronghold goes to level 2, you can upgrade your defense towers and whatnot. Let's see. Uh, stronghold provides a layer bonus to all defense teams fighting on that layer. So because at the beginning we will have a single layer, basically stronghold provides a layer bonus to all defense teams. So you know they can't you know <coughs> face roll over you. The defenders will have a bonus, which makes sense because you know you will have a team there, and they will see what team you have, and they will of course exploit the gaps in your team, right? Uh, you know, for example, if you are going for uh, let's say you know warlord Yumeko strategy, uh, they might go with you know a mythical champion like Lazarius uh, to dodge the warlord effect, right? Anyways. Uh, the fifth item only the clan leader or clan deputies can activate the layer bonus which means i and the other clan leaders participating in this will have to you know reevaluate reevaluate uh, re their uh, deputy choices i mean generally you want them to be people that you trust and you know that are active in the game just that you trust and you know an inactive person would not do it it seems you know our presence will be needed the stronghold can hold between 12 and 18 defense teams depending on its level so that means 12 teams on level 1 15 teams on level 2 and 18 teams on level 3 i'm just guessing but you know that's what the uh, that's that's the interval they gave us they are saying the building can be level 1 2 or 3 and because we can hold 12 or 18 15 makes the sense for makes sense for the level two. Capturing the opposing clan stronghold is one of the victory conditions in siege battles. Yeah, I mean, so this will be a little bit like civilization. Maybe there will be alternate victory conditions, like maybe you know capture all other buildings other than the stronghold. You know, uh, you know beat all the defense teams or something. You know, I'm just guessing. Defending your stronghold or capturing the opponents will yield extra rewards for every clan member at the end of the siege. Uh, that does sound lovely. Uh, I'm not saying no to extra resources, guys. And the uh, thing is, you might have you know, noticed that the game, you know, asks more and more of us. Uh, I mean, today, just today, I witnessed a very unpleasant change. If you recall, guys, the Sand Devil tournaments would used to end at 3000 points right and if you have the blizzard solo for stage 25 that would mean you know around 40 rounds 40 super raids so 1600 energy or so to finish it and you know it would sometimes go to 3500 if prism shards were involved so first of all prism shards not involved and the tournament ends up at 5250 points or something which is a 75 percent increase and the amount of points that we get are not changed the rewards that we get are not changed why increase it by 75 percent you know that is you know a little weird i mean if they brought it to in line to like 2000 energy i would have understand it i understood it right like 25 percent increase maybe but 75 percent increase and you know this has been that way for more than a year right sand devil has been out for a long time and the tournament's also existing for a long time. I just don't understand it. I immediately questioned it, of course. Uh, let's see what they will say. Anyway, the thing is, the point I'm making is, you know, tournaments are more often and often, you know, we get uh, relentless back-to-back -back, uh, champion training activities. So what uh, the point I'm raising here is, guys, that we, you know, spend more and more energy for stuff. You know, being able to do every single activity uh, while not spending uh, in the game is getting more and more challenging. Probably not very possible either. Uh, so yeah, I think some extra resources would be nice. So let's take a look at, uh, you know, so this is the limit information we have. So let's take a look at the, oops, by the way, let me also tease you this. This is an accident. I didn't mean to, mean to show this, but you know, for the first time. So this is funny, guys, because I am probably one of the very few people that tried for platinum and you know uh, succeeded first time around. The reason for that is you know I have been you know, very intimidated by it. Right? 
because a lot of people that I know have tried it and you know they failed and you know they also scared me so uh, you know I never tried so today I thought I would try for the first time after you know improving the account a little bit so there's that and you know while we are at it let me also show you this yeah so guys I waited for this months and months and finally on the same day I scored 50,000 points on the path I did the heaviest gearing of you know all time for myself and I also climbed to tag team arena gold 4 which is the highest and finished platinum which is also again the highest yeah a little bit funny maybe I can even you know score higher next time around as I said I was a little nervous anyway that's what not that's not what I meant to show you guys sorry about the interruption so yeah this is a resource ah uh, is this any resource well it is any resource i guess it does look like a resource it kind of looks like a you know vile potion sort of thing it is mana from the mana tower try to guess what it's for yeah you know, that's my guess this does look like a bundle of resources, that's for sure, right? You know, see the crates piled up, you know, a tarp over them. Uh, so, I think this will be used for, you know, upgrading the buildings. So, the question is, of course, how is it earned? Uh, you know, maybe from successful attacks against the clan. And maybe, as I said, some activities in the... In the game would also give us these and we have one final resource there is a scroll there uh, yeah I mean I don't know what this is for you know maybe we maybe this is a consumable or something you know you use it uh, the enemies uh, defense bonus provided by their stronghold gets cancelled or you know gets lowered or something like that uh, yeah I'm just shooting in the dark here and that is it for the day uh, i will see you on stream and good luck to those of you that will go for the one plus one i myself will go because i have mercy around 150 and i have been saving uh, ancient shards for almost two months now so i will pop like 50 or 60 but keep in mind guys uh, if palladium doesn't change anything on this friday there will be a champion chase and we will have 2x on ancients right so uh, I would advise you to not go for it if you are not able to pop Mercy and if the Mercy is far and you can still pop it I also again do not advise so let's say you have 160 ancient shards and your Mercy is 50 right that is that means you will be able to pop Mercy but you know I would just much rather prefer to open 160 ancient shards on 2x because it will mean a lot of additional epics the amount of legendaries you would be getting would be around the same and thing is guys these days epics are valuable right so for example guys you know an additional farakin you know you could feed it right? i mean the dupes they used to be you know four star chickens when you have your faction guard in school but now they are very precious right so for example i did open a lot of shards during the path event to get additional ultimate collect you know, because you know he gets used in multiple uh, very hard synchronous rooms so i wanted to empower mine so yeah that is it and i will see you on stream bye bye